Astronomers have just used the James Webb Space Telescope to gain unprecedented insight into the inner workings of nearby galaxies, observing the luminous trails carved by newly formed stars at their core. Thanks to the data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope, a trove of 21 research papers have been published, shedding fresh light on the interplay between the earliest stages of star formation and the evolution of galaxies, the largest objects in the cosmos. The Physics at High Angular Resolution in Nearby Galaxies FANGS project leverages data from a suite of telescopes to study nearby galaxies. By combining observations from instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, scientists can collect data across a broad range of wavelengths, including visible light and radio waves. Now, with the Webb Telescope, the project has gained a powerful new tool for peering into the cosmos. One of the key features that sets the JWST apart is its ability to observe in the infrared range. While visible light is absorbed and scattered by dust and gas clouds, infrared radiation can penetrate these obstacles, allowing the telescope to see deep into the heart of galaxies, revealing the intricate structure of gas and dust that surround galaxies. The telescope's primary mirror, measuring 6.5 meters in diameter, is coated with a thin layer of gold to maximize its ability to reflect infrared radiation. This will deepen our understanding of the physical processes driving galaxy formation and evolution. The Webb observations are led by Janice Lee, Gemini Observatory Chief Scientist at the National Science Foundation's Noir Lab and affiliate astronomer at the University of Arizona in Tucson. Through the first few months of Webb's science operations, the team has observed five of the 19 spiral galaxies in their diverse sample, yielding impressive results that have already captivated astronomers. Scientists are now directly seeing how the energy from the formation of young stars affects the gas around them, and it's just fascinating. Here's a view from Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, of the barred spiral galaxy NGC 1433, which has a particularly bright core surrounded by double star-forming rings. Thanks to the unprecedented infrared resolution of Webb, scientists have, for the first time, been able to observe vast, bubble-like structures of gas that are formed when young stars release energy into their surrounding environments. Another image shows the NGC 7496 spiral galaxy. You can clearly see its spiral arms filled with cavernous bubbles and shells overlapping one another in this image from MIRI. The presence of these intricate filaments and hollow cavities within interstellar gas and dust is a clear indication of the energy that young stars release into their surroundings, sometimes even driving out the gas and dust of the interstellar medium. Webb's capabilities have illuminated an intricate network of gas and dust, bringing to light even the darkest areas of interstellar space that were previously invisible to the Hubble telescope. And then we have this image of NGC 1365, which shows a stunning interplay between forming stars and the surrounding interstellar medium, as clumps of dust and gas have absorbed the star's light and then emitted it in the infrared range. Scientists from the FANGS project have spent years observing these galaxies at optical, radio, and ultraviolet wavelengths, but the earliest stages of a star's life have long been cloaked in mystery, as the process takes place within dense clouds of gas and dust that obscure the view of even the most most powerful telescopes. Webb's powerful infrared capabilities can pierce through the dust to connect the missing puzzle pieces. For example, specific wavelengths observable by MIRI 7.7 .7 and 11.3 microns and Webb's near-infrared camera 3.3 microns are sensitive to emission from polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which play a critical role in the formation of stars and planets. These molecules were detected by Webb in the first observations by the FANGS program. Studying these interactions at the finest scale can provide new insights into the larger picture of how galaxies have evolved over time. To facilitate broader collaboration and further accelerate the discovery of new insights into galaxy formation and evolution, the FANGS team will meticulously process and align the James Webb Space Telescope's data with the complementary data sets gathered from other observatories, creating robust and accessible data sets that can be easily shared with a larger astronomical community. 
NASA has also recently revealed the latest deep field image from Webb, featuring never-before-seen details in a region of space known as Pandora's Cluster, Able 2744. The Space Telescope has revealed the formation of a megacluster through a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. The massive combined mass of the galaxy clusters creates a powerful gravitational lens effect, which magnifies the light from more distant galaxies in the early universe, allowing them to be observed in greater detail than ever before. This observation is just one example of the many ways in which the James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos, revealing new details about everything from the formation of stars and planets to the origins of the universe itself. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.